Yo, what's going on, guys? Uh, my name is Jay Foster. I'm an R&B singer-songwriter from Chicago, and I decided to do a um, tutorial video uh, for the iLock Missing Authorization Era for Mac users. Uh, this is strictly for Mac users only. Uh, there are tons of videos to help uh, troubleshoot this issue for Windows users, and I noticed there wasn't one for Mac users. So once I figured out how to fix the issue for myself, I decided to go ahead and do a video to help uh, my fellow you know, music creators who use Pro Tools and we need our iLocks to, you know, create music and stuff. So this is for you guys. Um, basically, if you follow my instructions to the T, it's real simple. Uh, you get your iLock back up and running. Uh, now, keep in mind, though, this is for people who have an iLock who the only issue is is the authorization error. Like, as long as your iLock is lighting up blue and the only issue is that that error keeps coming up, then you're good. Now, if your iLock isn't lighting up blue, then this video isn't for you. I, that, that's a different issue. Uh, I don't know that. The answer to that but this is for people who the eye lock lights up blue but it's just not being recognized this video is for you so i just wanted to clarify that so um uh, i got this information via the eye lock website uh, when i was trouble troubleshooting this issue and i looked on the website and one of the things they told me to do was to get a four port usb hub and then use that to help uh get your eye lock recognizable and to do a sync repair on it through the through the eye lock license manager so I'm going to break that down. So all you got to do, uh, you can get this from uh, Best Buy, Target, any electronic store that sells a USB port hub. It's about $20, $25, but it's worth the investment because it's going to get your iLock back up and running, and then you'll be good to go. So just go buy a USB port hub. Once you get that, you plug the USB port hub into your USB slot on the Mac, and then you plug your iLock into the USB port hub. And then what you want to do is you want to open up your iLock license manager that you use to download all your licenses on. And then what you want to do is once you open it up, you'll notice that your iLock, it should be, uh, it should show up, it's recognizable now. Um, if you notice before when you were having the iLock authorization error, when you open up your iLock license manager, your uh, iLock wouldn't show up. But now that you got it plugged into the port, it should show up, it's recognizable. So once you see it in the iLock license manager, what you want to do is you want to right click on it and then you want to click it should say synchronize or it should say sync repair either one click that and then what it's going to do is it's basically going to just uh, resync your iLock to your computer and then after that um your iLock should work without the port you, you shouldn't even need the port anymore um personally from my experience i don't even need my usb port hub my iLock is back to normal i just plug it back into the usb slot on my mac and i haven't had any issues since so literally, that's all you got to do. Again, get a four-port USB hub, plug it into the computer, plug your iLock into the USB port hub, and then open up your iLock license manager, right-click on your iLock on the left-hand side, and click synchronize, or it should say sync repair. Once you do that, you can un unplug your port hub, and then just use your iLock as you normally was using it before. Um, some people would probably say, well, can I just go return the port hub since, it's, since my iLock is working back to normal? Um, you can, but me, I'm keeping mine. I mean, I had mine for years anyway. Uh, it was a spare that I had, but I'm keeping mine just in case this error happens again. So I personally would just keep it. It was only $20, $25. So just keep it. And then that way, if your iLock messes up again and that same error message pops up, you know how to fix it and just do the same thing all over again. So uh, let me know if you guys have any questions or you need any clarification. Let me know if it works for you guys. Let me know if you still are having issues. Comment below. Also, I do make music. Uh, this is my music channel, but I decided to make this video to help people out. So, you know, like, comment, share. Check out my music. It's actually pretty good. Um, and I hope you guys, you know, um, got the, the uh, information that you needed from this video to help you troubleshoot this issue. And you guys, uh, you know, hope to hear uh, good things. Hope to hear, you know, in the comments that it works for you guys. And, uh, yeah, hit me up, man. Check out my music, all that. Take care.